verse, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Remember when we read that at the beginning, Genesis 50, verse 20. Well, I just want to say to you that I really do like the Bible. The Bible is that wide and it's got so many stories in it and so many different things in it. But what I really like about the Bible is it's very, very human. Very human indeed, because it's about real people with their real lives, with real situations. Just like Joseph, as we've been looking at during this week. And it's all about, really, people and their struggles with God and having a relationship with God and just how that all works out in the mess of their everyday lives. And to be honest with you, that's not a lot different for 2019 for lots of us because we all have lives that are busy, messy and quite complicated at times. But the amazing thing about the story of Joseph is that through every single thing he went through, all those feelings that we put up on the screen earlier on as well, the happiness, the sadness, and all of it, we find that last verse that we read out a moment ago. Joseph's brothers really wanted to hurt him. They really wanted to harm him and make his life extremely difficult. But by the end of it, God would use all of that stuff all the things he felt, all the things he was going through, for what? For good. That's what the verse tells us, for good. You see, God has always got a good plan. Lots of people will blame God for their lives and they'll say, oh God, my life's like this, I wish it wasn't like it, why don't you do something? And you can understand the question, and it's a question I myself have said. But actually, ultimately, God has a good plan for people and for the world. Here's some of the good that came out of Joseph's story. The first one was this. God saved the lives of the people of Israel. Second, he saved the lives of the Egyptians and those who came to Egypt when they were looking for food during the famine. Third, he would save Joseph and his family from themselves through the power of what? That forgiveness that we talked about earlier on. The forgiveness is an incredible thing. And also, this is an incredible, amazing fact, God would bring out the massive nation of Israel from Joseph's family line. Now, that is an extraordinary thing to say. Now, my family line, I know, is pretty special, right? Yeah? You're supposed to laugh at that, yeah. Yeah. I do not have a family. Thank you, thank you Frank. Why is rely on Frank? But just imagine it. Out of a family line, with all their troubles with all their problems, with all the mess, God brought out something incredible and actually expanded all those people, those early Israelites, into a massive nation of people. That's extraordinary. So out of all the free will decisions that they made, all the free will decisions that everybody else made, God still brought out his plan. That's extraordinary. You think about all the free will decisions you make every day of your life, and I do, but God is still able with all of that to bring about his plan. And I think that is absolutely brilliant. And the one thing God wants of us really is this, to be like Joseph, to let God take control of our lives. Because when we do, something can happen in our lives. So God is the God of all history. He's the God of your history and my history. And ultimately in Jesus, we see God's greatest act because on that cross where Jesus died and then three days later rose again, we see God's love and God's forgiveness for you and for me and for the world in a way that is far, far greater than anything we ever saw in Joseph's story. You see, without Joseph and his family, Jesus would never have come because he's of his family line. Isn't that incredible? that God is working all that through, knowing that his own son would come into the world and die and be raised again for us all. So that's all I wanted to say this morning. I hope it is an encouragement to you, because we've all got lives. And you know, as I know, as being a minister here, I'm very aware of lots of people's lives around here. And I know it's hard, but there is hope in Jesus Christ. And he needs us to turn to him and let him work out his plans. So anyway, 
Just final thing, we're going to have a family service on the first Sunday of every month because we actually believe that God has been talking to us as a leadership team and it will be great for any of you to come along to that. It will be this sort of thing, slightly different of course because we haven't got a summer club or anything before it, but you're very, very welcome to, have, to, to come here on the first Sunday of every month. You never know, it might do you good, it might bring you closer to the Lord and it might bring some real positives into your life as well, which wouldn't be a bad thing. I know we all like being here, don't we, our regular folk? Yeah, yeah. we do, we really do. So God bless you, and hopefully I'll see you again. Thanks for your time.